Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shashank Parmar and today we are going to dis discuss about arson. So let's begin. So arson is the crime of maliciously, voluntarily or willfully setting fire to the building, buildings or other property or burning one's own property for an improper purpose. So now, what is the chemistry of fire? Fire has frequently been defined as the rapid oxidation process with the production of heat and light. Fire is an exothermic chemical process, oxidation process, which is a chemical reaction between a substance and the oxygen. Fire can be slow, fast or extremely fast. Slow fire like rusting or bleaching. Fast fires like rapid release of heat such as combustion of fire. And extremely fast like explosions. Now, what is fire point and flash point? Let's understand through the photo. Flash point, it is the temperature at which a liquid gives off sufficient vapors to form an ignitable mixture at its surface. And now, what is fire point? It is the temperature at which a liquid is liquid produce vapor that will sustain combustion. Now, what is flammable liquid versus combustible liquid? Flammable liquid has flash point less than 100 degree Fahrenheit and combustible liquids have flash point higher than 100 degree Fahrenheit. Note the one thing over here that flammable liquids will ignite and burn easily at normal working temperatures. Whereas combustible liquids have the ability to burn at temperatures that are usually above working temperatures. Now, let us see what are the elements of the fire. Elements of the fire include fuel plus oxygen plus heat. All these three turns to be the fire. Now, fuel. Fuel that will burn and must be available for ignition. There are three kinds of fuels which are solid fuel, liquid fuel and gaseous fuel. Solid fuel includes wood, cloth and paper. Liquid fuel includes gasoline, kerosene and many more. Gaseous fuel includes natural gas and propane. Now, oxygen. Oxygen is needed for combustion that is burning. Your fire uses oxygen to maintain a state of burning. Heat. It is necessary for starting a fire. Now, what is the form of heat transfer? Mainly the fire spreads by transferring heat energy in three ways. Conduction. The transfer of heat one object the transfer of heat from one object to another object through direct contact that is in heated steel structure. Then convection. The transfer of heat by circulating medium, usually air and liquid. They are the most res responsible for fire spread in structural fires. And then last one, radiation. The transfer of heat as energy traveling through space or materials as waves. For an example, exposure problems in large fires. Here you can see in the images that in the conduction, the energy is transferred by direct contact. In the convection, energy is transferred by the mass motion of molecules, as you can see over here. And in the radiation, energy is transferred by the electromagnetic radiations from over here. Now, the process during the fire. Fire follows the principle of burning. Fuel plus oxygen plus heat. Here, oxygen is consumed during the fire process. Here, Carbon monoxide is produced, which is highly toxic and can be the cause of death. 
carbon dioxide produced here is non toxic but if it is increased by 2% 2% then there are 100% chances of increase in breathing rate then here the fire travels always in the direction of air now what are the class of fire first a class fire it involves any material that has burning amber or leaves and ash for an example we can consider wood paper pulp lumber and cloth the adopted method for question fire of class a is to remove heat here water certain chemicals liquid foam dry is used to stop it then b class fires it involves any flammable liquid or gas then here uh, it uh, gasoline oil propane natural gas paints or grease causes this kind of fire flammable liquids don't ignite in their liquid state then c class fires it involves live electrical equipments for catching the fires for an example faulty fuse boxes frayed wires overloaded electrical outlets it requires the use of extinguishing agents to stop the fire but that will not conduct any electricity back then comes the d class fire it involves exotic metals like titanium zirconium magnesium sodium the combustible metals special agents such as dry powder causes fires different different chemicals for different uh, different types of metals are required to stop it extinguishing agents and techniques of class a p and c is not used in d here you can see in the chart a a class fire that is ordinary combustibles caused by ordinary combustibles like wood paper cloth then b caused by flammable liquids grease oil paint solvents then c includes electrical panel motor wiring etc d includes magnesium and aluminium in the k that is cooking oils animal fats vegetable oils which is caused by which is all are caused by commercial cooking equipments then phase of the combustion that is phase of the fire first step is the initial phase we can also say incipient phase or growth phase here the fire produce water vapor carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and small quantity of so2 here air or oxygen content is reduced and produce fire as the flame temperature is 1000 degree fahrenheit that is 537 degree centigrade o2 level in air is 21% then free burning phase or that is fully developed stage it involves burning activities and the flame temperature is nearly 1300 degree fahrenheit that is 700 degree centigrade your oxygen level in air is nearly 16% to 18% then smoldering phase or we can say decay stage flame may cease to exit exit if the area of confinement is sufficiently airtight here the burning is reduced to glowing embers room becomes filled with dense smoke gases here the flame temperature is nearly 1000 degree fahrenheit and oxygen level is less than 15 degree fahrenheit it may result in the backdraft here you can see the phase of combustion and heat release rate and fire development from initial in, uh, initial stage to, to growth in fully developed and then decay now what are the cause of fire cause of fire can be accidental fire natural fire intentional fire or undetermined fire now let's uh, let us see backdraft and flash over now what is backdraft it is also known as explosion a backdraft is an explosion or rapid burning of heated fire gases resulting from an introduction of oxygen when air is admitted into building heavily charged by the smoke 
here it often produces injury. We can consider that flammable gas plus explosives and plus ignition source causes backdraft. Now let us see what is flashover. Flashover is the stage of the fire when all combustibles in an area have become heated to their ignition temperature. Then they ignite simultaneously. Now here we can see the fire or we can see the burn patterns. We can see V-shape, inverted cones, ligator ring, spelling, streamers, arc damage and pool or plant patterns. V-shape, it is narrow and spreads out at rise. We can see normal pattern, no accelerants. In inverted cone, we, uh, it is wider at the bottom and narrower at the up. It may be accident or accelerant port poured along the floor. Then we can see the alligatoring. It looks like scale of alligators. Maybe from accelerant or maybe not. Then we can see spelling. Layers, uh, we can see the layers of concrete break away because of high temperature. This may also be because of accelerants or maybe not. Then we can see the streamers shows a trail from one area to another and excellent use to spread fires here. And we can see then arc damage or pool or plant. Arc damage includes spark caused by release of electricity and here the indication is electrical wire or from a wire insulation and in the pool or plant type pattern we can it looks like puddles. Here we can see accelerants collected in a pool at lowest points. Here we can see the fire burn patterns that is V-shaped and U-shaped. Here a circular pattern on ceiling and circular pattern, pattern on ceiling over here also. Here we can see the V-shaped and here we can see the U-shaped wall. These are the images of V-shaped pattern and this is the u-shape pattern here you can see is the irregular pattern while over here you can see the streamers pattern thank you so much for watching our video i hope you liked it and for the more information you can visit our website www.thesihub.in make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much. We'll meet you soon. Thank you.